With the release of Madness at the Dark Moon Fair, we saw the first ever mini set. But wouldn't it be cool if the expansions before that also had one? Welcome to the fifth episode of a series I'm now calling Mini Set Miracles, where I go back to each older expansion and imagine what their mini sets could look like. In today's episode, we'll dive into the mini set I've made for Hearthstone's fifth expansion, Journey to Unguru. You might recall how Journey to Unguru took place in the mysterious Unguru Crater, a vast jungle filled with volcanoes and tar pits and full of terrifying dinosaurs and elementals. This mini set would really just be more of that, so we'll see more elementals, more dinosaurs and even elemental dinosaurs. Welcome to the mini set for Journey to Unguru, which I've named Crater Clash. Before we look at all the cards for this set, I wanna very quickly explain my rules. The idea is that this mini set would be released to standard Hearthstone today, with cards for all 11 classes using modern keywords. Additionally, the plan is that the Journey to Unguru main set would also get re-released to standard alongside this mini set. Now, let's look at the cards for the Crater Clash mini set. Unguru is a harsh environment, and all the creatures living there have been forced to adapt to survive. If you don't remember, adapt was the new keyword introduced in Journey to Unguru. Whenever a minion adapts, it gets to choose one of three bonuses out of a total collection of 10. These could be bonuses like plus 3 attack, divine shield, wind fury, you name it, but by today's standards there's a lot of keywords left out from this adaptation pool. So to fix this, the Crater Clash mini set would introduce 3 new adaptations to the pool. From now on, whenever you adapt you'd also be able to choose the new bonus Enhanced Reflexes, which will give the minion Rush, or Shedding Skin, which will give it Reborn, or finally Vampirism, which will give it Lifesteal. The Crater Clash mini set would of course also introduce new cards with the adapt keyword. Even the classes that weren't originally present in Journey to Unguru would get adapt cards. I also made this card. Orphaned Hatchling is a 1 mana 1 2 beast that would adapt a friendly minion. The flavor here is that the friendly minion has to adapt to take care of the Hatchling. But if you're interested in even more adaptations, Paladin gets one of the mini sets for legendaries, Lakawi. <coughs> Lakawi is a 6 mana 4 4 beast that will adapt 3 times when you play him. But upon death, Lakawi's 3 adaptations will be given to up to 3 minions in your hand. Only the 3 adaptations from Lakawi's battle cry will go to your hand, and if it gets any further adaptations, they won't be passed on. The Crater Clash mini set would also introduce a payoff to the adapt mechanic, introducing God King Crush. Crush is an 8 mana 8 a neutral legendary beast, and when you play him, he will gain each unique adaptation your minions have gained this game. And if he gains 5 or more, he will also gain charge! So if you're playing Crush, you're gonna want to pick different adaptations during the game. But if you pick, say, plus 3 attack, plus 1, plus 1, Wind Fury and any other two adaptations, you get to summon Crush with 12 attack, charge and Wind Fury. <laughs> Journey to Guru was also the first time we saw the elemental minion type in Hearthstone. So this mini set would of course also introduce many new elementals. Journey to Unguru also introduced a new type of elemental with Taunt that has bonus attack during your opponent's turn. We even recently saw another like them in Whispang's workshop. These Tar elementals would be a kind of side mechanic for a couple of the classes in this mini set. some even with an extra element like Lifesteal. Even the king of the Tar elementals would show up in this mini set. Lakar, Tyrant of the Tar Pits, is the ruler of all the Tar Elementals in Uguro. He is an 8 mana 112 neutral legendary elemental with Taunt and has plus 6 attack during your opponent's turn. Then when he dies, he will summon 2 one, 5 Tar Creepers with Taunt and these are the same ones from Journey to Uguro that have plus 2 attack during your opponent's turn. The very last card I want to show you is Lakar's rival, Golak the Steam Lord. This 6 mana 6 3 legendary elemental from Mage is the ruler of the Golaka Hot Springs and will cast Flame Geyser on all enemies when played. Flame Geyser is a 1 mana fire spell from Journey to Unguru that deals 2 damage and adds a 1 mana 1 2 elemental to your hand. 
So in other words, Golak will deal 2 damage to all enemies and add a 1-2 element to your hand for each enemy it hit. Then when Golak dies, it will reduce the cost of all elementals in your hand by 1, so all those 1-2 elementals would suddenly cost 0. That's it for all the cards I wanna show you in this video, but I have something else I wanna share with you. I often have people asking me on videos in this series if there's a place they could see all the 38 cards for the mini set, and I always have to disappoint them by saying I only made the ones in the video, but that's not the case this time. You see, this mini set was actually the very first mini set I made for this series that even inspired the entire series. I actually made the cards for this mini set all the way back in March 2023 and shared them on the custom Hearthstone subreddit, and they are still there if you want to check out all 38 cards. So if you thought some of the cards seemed a bit weak, it's probably because they're about a year old. I'll leave a link to the post in the description. This will be a one-time thing though, and for future episodes there will only be the cards in the video. Also, big thanks to Big Tank 995 for coming up with the miniset Miracle's name. Well, that's it for the Creator Clash miniset. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the miniset Miracle series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.